Whether well, colleges and universities across the country will be able to use race as a factor for admissions remains to be seen. The Supreme Court has been listening to oral arguments from two cases about affirmative action. One of those cases involves UNC Chapel Hill. CBS 17's Haley Fixler is live on campus with reaction. Haley. Today's proceedings went on for hours and there's still no resolution. Now, some justices today expressed concerns that there doesn't seem to be an end to the affirmative action policies. The justices also looked at demographics from schools and states that don't allow affirmative action. Now, a lot of students didn't want to talk to us on camera today, but those who did had some very strong opinions about what they hope happens next. Against the bright orange leaves on the University of Chapel Hill's campus, the colors of race taking the spotlight. Race is a factor. Like, it affects your opportunities, and so you can't just say, oh, I'm blind to it. 273 miles away at the U.S. Supreme Court, justices listened to the arguments for and against upholding the school's affirmative action policies. Everybody should get a fair shot, and affirmative action says that, no, some people will be advantaged and other people will be disadvantaged based on the color of their skin. Many others feel the same way. A recent Pew Research poll shows that 74% of Americans do not think that race and ethnicity should be considered in the admissions process for colleges. On campus, though, we've found very passionate students in favor of these policies. And this is like a historically like an institution where like people of color were not allowed to come and so I think that giving them a more fair chance in order to be able to come to the university is really important. It accounts for a lot of the persistent inequalities that are in the much nearer past than we like to think. But the opposition believes the past cannot be fixed, but that efforts can be made to make a better future for everyone. You can't remedy past discrimination with new discrimination for those who have suffered from preferences for whites. The remedy is not preferences for African Americans or Hispanics. The students also brought up other possible metrics that could be used for affirmative action besides race. You'll hear their ideas and what the chancellor of this university has to say tonight at 6. Live in Chapel Hill, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News. All right, Haley, thank you.